I don't like coming back to Alice Springs. The people in Alice Springs would much prefer us talk about how magnificent a, a tourism destination it is. I'm sure they want things to get better. But unless we keep telling you how bad they are and put pressure on Canberra, things are not going to change. Darren Clark, you know him well, the wonderful bakery owner who's been working tirelessly to drag all the attention around the country onto the crime in Alice Springs. Well, just last night, people have targeted him and his wife and his family, verbally abused and threatened. This is how bad it's getting. Darren Clark joins me now. Darren, tell us what's happened to your family. Uh, they uh, come into my shop uh, yesterday um, looking for me. Uh, people that were involved in the fight on Saturday morning that um, the Australian covered um, and Sky News is covered and 2GB. Um, quite, quite I write that I've, I've posted that on my Facebook site. Um, now they come looking for me and they're quite right, all right. Um, I'd, I'd actually gone home. So then they targeted my partner um, and yeah, really abused her. So yeah, it was quite distressing for everyone and then all my staff were there too. So yeah, it's, it's gone a little bit too far now. Um, thankfully today uh, we've had um, some messages from the parent, one of the parents and um, has apologised. Okay, so Oh, I'd like to leave it at that, that, that issue, um, Peter. But, you know, things up here just mm. let's continue to get worse. And, um, yeah, it's very sad. When you and I caught up in February, you told me the story. I mean, bakers obviously start very, very early in the morning, that when you yeah. leave your home and you cross the Todd River and you drive to the other side of town to where your business is, that sometimes you sort of get the moz on you. You, you don't feel safe getting out of the car, you, you drive around the streets a few times, you decide, if, you know, bugger it, you've got to get into work, you've got to get things moving. But you don't feel necessarily safe. Uh, I noticed and I'm showing the pictures for people at home, you've got concrete bollards, for God's sake, out the front of your business. Are you getting to the point that you, you're, you know, genuinely fearing for your physical safety? Oh, definitely I have for a long time uh, because... I'm putting my head out, uh, putting my head up and, and having a crack for this town and now to a crack for the Northern Territory because the Northern Territory is in, in serious trouble. Um, look, yeah, it is scary. Um, I, I've always said I'll get a hiding at some stage, um, whether that comes or not. Um, who knows? Um, but I, I'll continue to fight while I can. Um, like today, Today we've had a tragic incident up, up in Darwin. The people up there are terrified now. The, the home invasions in Darwin are horrific. We've had an international student today at 4.25 this morning, a guy in his early early 20s that's come to Darwin, been there for three months, going to Charles Darwin University, has been bludgeoned with a fire extinguisher in his bed. Now, that guy there now is in um, critical care. I'm told that he's... Um, now being, um, it's clinically dead, uh, waiting for his parents to come arrive from Sydney, which should um, happen in the, in the next 10 or 15 minutes um, to get to say their last goodbyes, um, to, to send their son off, you know? Where does this stop, Peter? Like, this, this, that's out of control. We're getting 83 year olds in Alice Springs, that they're getting bashed. We've had, we've had a disabled lady here um, a week and a half ago, she was sexually assaulted. We've had another woman sexually assaulted on a main highway here. Two days ago, we've had another female indecently assaulted on the streets of Alice Springs. Um, the, the whole territory is hurting. The whole territory is, is really terrified. Now, the Property Council here in the NT, they did a survey. Now, 80% of people in the Northern Territory surveyed are saying they don't feel safe in the Northern Territory. And 60% say now they want to leave the Northern Territory. 60% of your population wants to leave. Can you imagine that, Peter, in Sydney or New South Wales, where 80% of your population is too scared to actually want to live there anymore? Darren, thank you for coming on the program. I think you're incredibly brave, you and your family. And I know it's a small consolation, but if it wasn't for you, uh, this sort of stuff wouldn't be heard outside of the Territory 
and you're not going to get change unless we wake up outside of the Territory and force change in communities like ours. Thank you again. Mate, we've got to keep whacking away and, and bring it out. That's what we're going to do. Spot on.